Miami Marlins, Toronto Blue Jays trade taints Major League Baseball. Less than a year after Miami went on the biggest off-season spending spree in Major League Baseball, Marlins owner Jeffrey Loria completed the team's fire sale, agreeing to send Jose Reyes, Mark Burel and Josh Johnson to Toronto. The deal was first reported by Fox Sports on Tuesday, while in the past the Marlins have been known to follow a championship season with a fire sale. This latest news caught the baseball world off guard. Who would have expected that Reyes and Burrell, two prized off-season acquisitions along with Johnson, would have quickly followed recently fired manager Ozzie Gillen out of South Beach in what turned out to be a disappointing season that was filled with the hope of winning a championship. However, the Marlins never lived up to the expectations that accompanied the team's new $515 million stadium located in Miami's Little Havana. The first warning signs came last year when right before the trade deadline the Marlins decided to pull the plug on Hanley Ramirez, who reportedly was never happy about switching over to third base after the team did not consult with him before signing Reyes, and traded him to the Los Angeles Dodgers. If the smoke of the fire sale was not clear then, then it was when the Marlins dealt starting pitcher Anibal Sanchez and second baseman Omar Infante to the Detroit Tigers. Loria shed over $30 million in salary in those two trades. Before the 2012 World Series had even concluded, the Marlins pulled the plug on Heath Bell, trading him to Arizona. Bell flopped as the closer and sparred verbally with Gillen throughout the season. Loria will pay only $8 million of the $21 million Bell is owed. Fans could have braved this trade after the 1997 and 2003 seasons, when the sole decision to trade away talent was based on the stadium issue. That excuse is unacceptable now. Last December before the NBA resumed its abbreviated season, the Los Angeles Lakers almost got Chris Paul in a deal before Commissioner David Stern stepped in and vetoed the trade for basketball reasons. It may be time for Bud Selig to save baseball and its fans in Miami from this madman.